Hey there and welcome to this video. Today I want to show you a usage example on how you can use WP Webhooks Pro to create a WordPress post using Alexa or Google VoiceOver. We are going to do this in combination with a voice flow creator. But first of all I want to show you how it looks in action. As you can see on the right screen there is currently no post available. I make a quick refresh to show you that it is live. Alexa, start Webhooks Pro. Thanks for checking out WP Webhooks Pro. What can I do for you? Create post. Great choice. Please tell me the title for your post. This is a remote post. You included the following post title. This is a remote post, is that correct? Correct. Thanks. I will create your post now. Your post was successfully created. As you can see, when I refresh the site now, you will see the post itself. I hope you enjoyed this small video. Now I will give you a quick introduction on how you can set up WP Webhooks Pro inside of VoiceFlow. As you can see on the screen, I already prepared an Alexa app. In this case, this is the one you also saw in the demo. I just removed the webhook action. And this is what we are going to include now. You can also set up for yourself the app itself which is a very simple step since you can just drag and drop the elements inside of the container. And for now we are gonna just connect the API to our service. Therefore we go to the plus, we scroll a little bit down or as you can see it already here, there is an API block. We just gonna use this one and drag it right over here. As you can see at the right you have a couple of configurations now. The first thing we have to do is we have to go to our WP Webhooks Pro settings and we have to copy the Webhooks Pro action URL. In my case it's this one. We copy it, we go back to VoiceFlow Creator, we include it here and we choose Post. For the headers we have to add a content type so that we can show which content type we are sending over to our website. In this case we use JSON and therefore we type application slash JSON. Now we head over to the body part and this is where we can configure our parameters. We use in this case the raw input since we include it directly in the text field. I quickly prepared the template for you and this is what you also can find down below in the description and you can just fill it up with the values you want. The action we're gonna use is the create post action. Therefore we just head to our WordPress website and we copy the available webhook action we want to use. In this case it's create post. As you can see I already activated it here. If you don't see the create post functionality here, you just go to settings, scroll down and activate create post. Save it and you head back to receive data. I copy this create post and paste it here. And now we also have to define the post title in the case of my example I showed you. And therefore we just go back to our WordPress website, we open create post, check the accepted arguments and can copy basically anything we want for creating this post. In my case, as I already showed to you in the example, we're gonna use the post title. So I copy this one, I head back to VoiceFlow Creator and include it here. Now since we need a generic input for the post title itself, I already set up earlier a variable. In this case it is the post title. I used here the actor since I couldn't find a raw text field. So the actor just, actor just worked and as you can see the capture input is in the brackets post title. That's what we're also gonna use here. We go back to raw input, we scroll to the end and we include here the brackets and post title. And that's it from this side. Now we just have to connect it with our values and since this create value is the one I want to connect to the API, I just connect it and by dragging and dropping it here. Then the fail I connect it to the error and this one we connected to your post was created successfully. Now we can test the whole process. For doing so I go back to my post site and as you can see I don't have currently any posts available. Now we go here back to VoiceFlow Creator and go to test. Here we can also test directly from the beginning and that's what we are gonna do. And as you can see it asks what we can do and I type exactly the same things we asked Alexa when we started it in the example. So in this case create post. As you can see it says a great choice. Please tell me the title of your post. This is the title. We just click. 
we can review the title now. This is the title. Is that correct? We answer with correct. We ask and now it will create it. Thanks, I will create your post now. Your post was successfully created. When we go back to our WordPress website now and we refresh, you will see that the post was successfully created. Everything was possible with just including the webhook inside of the API block, as you can see here. You can extend this by your own values by just adding them into the body. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at any time. And for now, I wish you a lot of success and fun with our plugin.